All right, let's do some 2D animation of Blender. One way to just start off is hit this 2D in the start file. And there you go, you're at it. But let's just say you want to add 2D to a non-start file. So how would we do that? Well, let's start by centering this camera up a little bit. Let's do this. The reason why I do this is I want the camera and the front view at the same location so that's that's that let's just get this out of the way let's turn the light off right now and let's actually set this view to active all right so nothing can't do anything well we have to add a grease pencil so let's go to add grease pencil blank grease pencil now we can actually draw so if i hit this draw well it does that but i mean we want to change this stuff around so the other two things that you got to do is let's make this white. We'll also do viewport white. Now come up to here and we can hit this and this can also be white. Now it's just about where we were in the other one. The other thing that we have to look out for is in our color management here, we hit this little camera, go to color management. It's standard. Um, I'm sure you could change it to filmic later, but for right now it's just standard. And now we can start drawing and it's gonna look exactly like our start file. See, you didn't even know that flipped over, did you? That one, well, we gotta fix this stuff. Yeah. So the other thing that we wanna look out for, uh, we'll just turn this one off, is layers. So when you do 2D animation, we should, let's set up this on a dope sheet. Go to grease pencil. If I go down here, there's there's nothing here. So but if I add a layer, we could say this is an outline layer. If I start drawing, you can see it says outline right here. If I have no keyframes on it, it won't show up. But if I do draw, it adds a keyframe. If I draw again, it'll add another keyframe. So you can kind of see how that that's, that's working out for you. Let's talk about some of the some of the stuff in the grease pencil usage. All right, so we kind of already know we have layers here, and in the layers, we could just add more layers. We also have onion skinning option in the layers, and if you want to turn onion skinning on, you have to come over here and hit onion skin. I'm also going to hit canvas because I want to show you something in a second here. So here's canvas. If I rotate my view out of the camera perspective, you can see that this canvas is there. And what I'm basically doing is I'm only drawing on that canvas. Let me get a harder color here. So this brings us to the next next point is this right, or, yeah, right there in materials. If we come to our material, we don't have a material, so I'm not really drawing a material right now. So if I click on material, I can say this could be, say, black outline. And here's a color black, and it's set to stroke. Da, 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 da. Hey, look at that. Now, if we turn our strength up all the way. There we go. Now we got black. If we want to fill, hey, let's make another material. I'll just call this fills and instead of stroke I'll come down to fill let's make it like a blue fill so now we have a fill material all right so that's just how you make different colors and materials uh, usually in 2d animation you want to put like you know your outlines on one and then fills and colors and strokes all that on the other so let's talk about actual animating here Oops. <laughs> I hit a button by accident. Um, one is we could treat these like objects, but if you delete everything, just like how I did, you're going to need another, you're going to need a grease pencil. So if I come down here and I go to blank grease pencil, now it'll start working again. Now I can go to draw. So if you lose it, if you're like, ah, I'm going to delete this and I'm like, oh, I can't start drawing. You got to add another grease pencil you see it right there now if you notice i also lost all my materials but i can come here and i can actually add these materials here i can just add another one and here could be my fill and uh 
whatever this one is dot stroke i think that one just is a standard so that's how you do that uh also new grease pencil needs new layers so let's just i'm just going to put notes here real quick because i'm kind of just showing you something so within this this area here let's actually go back to our camera view okay so up here is our viewport drawing area so it, how i want to to draw on it and let me show you how that works so right now i'm on view so wherever my view is it's drawing it on that canvas if i just go to say i go to front view and i draw like that you can see it only drew that on the front view i can do this with the side view and i could also do this with top view so that's kind of handy one thing that we want to do let's come over to the eraser and in the eraser i'm just going to erase the stroke this way it doesn't delete the grease pencil so one cool thing about this is we could do it by the cursor so if uh, let's say let's say let's go here let's go to the front view real quick let me draw a circle let's say i want to draw something that is like up right here and then goes across the side well why don't we just move our 3d cursor to that point um we go to view we go to our 3d cursor location you know we could just come here now obviously you can shift and right click and, you know do the, the the 3d cursor clicking and stuff like that um but i don't really have an object <laughs> to stick so yeah, that's just which brings me to another trick let's let's do a trick here i'll show you a trick so if i come up to object let me just add cube just to make it tiny maybe just a tiny cube where to go tiny little cube here i'll just plop this where i want that now when i do my 3d cursor I can just move my snap my cursor right to it i use pie menus you can use this you know cursor to select it uh also in the preferences you don't know how to do that so in the blender if we go to cursor it should just be like shift yeah so this is the 3d cursor one i take this over and of course you know me i always use industry keys and then i just slam it in industrial keys so for me it is control shift left press um you can make it whatever you want so control shift left press puts it right on the surface there and then i can actually delete the cube it doesn't matter if i come back to draw i can now set this to cursor okay and it will did not work why didn't it work Oh, origin 3D cursor. There we go. So now I have a little bit more precise control on how I want to set this, this canvas up. Um, two things to look at when, when you're doing this. Let me just go into view. It's a little bit easier. If I have a fill here, now a fill needs a fill material. I just can't fill anything. But if you look, see how that didn't fill this little area? That's because you're filling by view okay and that's what's going on when when this stuff happens okay so be weary of that um because you could be like drawing something and then you go to move move the view and you're like oh my god what did i do and you wind up ruining everything so <laughs> take it from me that sucks um if i come back to my camera i'm gonna come through here so that's how these guys work let's just move this stuff Let's talk about let's talk about some of the other stuff. Um, over here, the onion skinning, you can turn that on and off, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'm going to turn off the canvas. We don't need it anymore. Uh, there's some overlays that you might want to get into. Eh, it's not not all that important. Here is how we change the way our pen works. Okay, so on my stroke, uh, I'm still just using my mouse. So let's just go to post-processing and let's just add smooth okay so or actually i'll start with out any smooth so we'll do this okay so here's me 
making some lines right on my mouse, okay? Now I'm gonna try and make that same line with some smooth up. You can kind of see what's gonna happen. This is post-processing smooth. So after I draw this line, Okay, you can see that after it draws something, it'll kind of go through a little snap. All right, so just be weary. You see how it's kind of moving? Let's just let's just turn this up to an extreme. I'll do smooth that too. Okay. Just came off of Photoshop, so I'm using spacebar. But you see how that works? Boop, boop, boop. All right. So that's what your smooth iterations. It will suck on your processor a little bit. Uh, so I don't use it too much. Plus I have a tablet and it's a little bit easier, but those on the mouse, man, you're gonna wanna live on that thing. Um, uh, right here in, in the advances, clear some of this out. Right here, we can actually do random and jitters. So you see how that just lay in pipe there. Um, so be weary of that. And then there's stabilized stroke and I don't really play around too much with that. Here is things of like angles and pressure and hardness and everything that you can use with the pens. In the pens, we have all these different options. Ink one is really cool. I like the ink. Uh, it's, in my opinion, it's better than a Flash, Adobe Animate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Marker is okay. Again, you're gonna want uh, a tablet with some of these to really take care of um, these pressure points and stuff. And if you like one, you could just come and, you know, I can rename this one. Let's 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 play with this a little bit. Let's get it. Uh, let's do put samples of like six. So now it's like real dotty and. Play it a little smoothness, some angle to it, and make it less hard. So that's what we have now. I can actually come over here and edit and say pencil mine, my pencil. Okay, so now you can actually see it right here. All right, so that's pretty cool. So easy to make, easy to make stuff. Let's come back to our pen. Uh, let's see, uh, this one's all right. Okay, so let's talk about, for the fills, we know that we need a fill to work. Um, if, let's say, let's say I have, let's go to an actual, let's say I have something like this, okay? And I don't want to go like this to fill the gap. So, let's do, do, do. Okay, so if I fill this gap, it's gonna, it's just going to fill everything all right so one way to take care of that is if you hold control it works like a pen and i can just kind of close the gap with the fill and then fill it so that's a nice handy trick it'll save you a lot of time all right so you don't have to actually keep outlining stuff within the outline uh we also have tint so let's say i have fill i can I believe i can tint it in different colors um, yeah. no no how does tint work what do we got here Your radius strength all right well that doesn't seem to be doing much of anything um you can tell I don't use it. Okay, so that's tint. Maybe you guys can tell me how tint works. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, and then we have the trim. This is arguably one of my favorite tools uh, in this set. So let's say we have something like this. And I'm like, well, I like my little rocket here. Just made a little rocket here. But I don't like these little things hanging over, over the, the cliff here. I can actually, it can even think about it, but it's where something overlaps. And you don't have to be super priced with it, which is awesome um, because it really does suck <laughs> when 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 you're uh, 
when you're drawing something and you have to be super precise on it on a overlap which is great now let's dump the lines we have shapes shapes two shape things uh the one thing that i noticed i think do we have to hit enter there it is um going from shape to not shape so sometimes it, it just kind of sticks i'm not sure why um it's it sticks on this guy even if i hit enter sometimes and then then it, then it starts going so just you know be cautious of of that like if you're like why is this not working uh this is a kind of really cool curve tool i wish it had a little bit more th like you can see this little guy see this little guy I'm, I'm moving i really wish that had handles i think on the new update we're getting handles on certain things um so that's that guy here's another one now this one takes a little bit to get used to so I hit enter i can come here and then let go and then you have handles okay so it's gonna hit enter um, here's, you know, normal shapes, square, circle, um, and then right here, this guy, this guy is annotation. I hate this drawing. Okay. So people can annotate it, do what they want. Now, if you notice annotation, it's like, well, what's going on here? If we look over here, it's, it's still it's still a grease pencil annotation but it's it's is a little bit different um that's you know these type of normal annotations um they're not necessary um in my opinion anymore unless like you you aren't doing anything so we, you just got to turn off the annotations and they live right over here so we just delete these annotations like that okay so freeze pencil so let's uh talk about one other thing and that's how to how to animate here and then we'll get into it and, and we'll animate okay so let's go back to draw so one thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the notes we don't need notes let's do outline Oop on the end of that there we go so let's have our proverbial thing oh one more let's use our trim so if we come over to our tool like that i can just trim that off there we go. so let's say we want this ball to go from here to here also on on stroke one more thing on the stroke that I can actually use trim stroke edge. So if I go like that, you see how that cuts off. So that might be another another way that you guys kind of want to do that. So we just go like that. So one thing that we're used to doing in Blender is let's say I just want to treat this like an object. I can actually animate this like an object going across. So if I come across here, let's go to regular timeline timeline i can actually set a key to this thing okay and i can come here like that and i can set another key and it'll interpolate in between this, this so that's that's one way you can animate that's that that is perfectly fine uh if i want to go into the dope sheet though i can actually come across here and i can go frame 10 we're now here so now they go in between okay so if you want to see the onion skinnings on that we could just increase these frames 10 and we're not seeing the onion skinnings right they're on there we're here um interesting Oh, that's right. You, your onion skinning is also active. This activates right here. So we can just let's, uh, let's go back to what we were doing. This guy, this little guy. 
mess your head up. Okay, so if I go like this, you can see that it's a, a faded outline on frame 11. Let's not do, let's just do like one, no, we'll work on threes. We'll do three frames back. Okay, I can actually move this back to here. So we can see it kind of traveling. Okay, let's go ahead and put another one here. Okay. That, let's say I, we don't want to draw every frame. This is, um, this is actually pretty easy too. So we can just grab it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The, the way I like to do this is I just copy this frame and I can just duplicate this frame. And then I can actually just grab it. In the edit mode, bye man, come on. And we can move it like that. Okay, so that's, uh, that is also a way to do it. Let's just make sure. Draw. Let's see, let's see how this happens. All right, and we can do it again if we want it. Duplicate the keyframe. Oh, I'm not in edit. Got to be in edit. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, I believe. Even if I'm in edit mode here, I can just keep dropping frames. I don't have to keep duplicating frames if I don't want to. Uh, that is your choice. So if we... Let's rearrange this to be uh, 26. Oh, come on. See how that works? Now, if we want to add fills to it, we can come over to our layers. Let's go fill. Draw mode. Make sure we're on fill. Make sure we have the fill material. And we can fill it. We can go into summary. Let's make sure we're on the fill. We could actually lock this layer down and we can come through. Oh, remember what I said about this? We can do that. And just come through. Fill all this up. All right. So now let's let's uh let's make a new 2D animation scene back and you can see in the new scene that we got lines and fills it comes with some predefined fills and strokes it's a little bit nicer uh but you know sometimes you just want to start adding 2d animation into your 3d scene so i did want to show you how to take that all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to animate a quick character for you laying out some uh skeleton put in a pose normally you would want to do this with like uh, reference or anything but i'm just freehanding it uh i'm not the greatest character animator but um i am kind of competent so if you watch what i'm doing here is i'm like well what character am i gonna make so one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to really create your character in blender so what's the best option well you should do a character study and here you can see me import like a character coming in there now i have some references to follow so this adds more or less you know design to your character and now you can kind of follow along so what i'm doing is i'm following along that skeletal system with my character and just cleaning out the outlines making sure i get those poses correct also making sure the proportions are correct so your character's not getting bigger or smaller. And adding some fills, drop in a background, 
and you're left with a nice little animation. <laughs>